Well, hey folks, welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. Now, I may not be quite in an EDC situation right now. I'm on top of a plateau, having a great hike here in the wilderness uh, in early December. But uh, I want to intro for you my EDC dump for the end of 2015. Uh, you know, we did one about six months ago, I think. Uh, it was a good video, I think. I think it showed you guys a lot of different stuff and capabilities. The one big thing for me was weight. It was quite heavy the more I used that kit. And when I weighed it, it was pushing about 10 pounds, which is pretty crazy. So uh, what I wanted to do was go back to the drawing board, get a slightly less tactical pack than what I was using at the time uh, for my regular EDC bag, and try and see where I could either scale down some weight in you know size and dimensions of different materials, and maybe get rid of some stuff that I just don't use or I just don't think is necessary. So what I've done is kind of gone back to the drawing board. This is a new EDC dump. You'll be seeing that all the gear that we're about to look at here on the table fits inside my Mountain Smith Rift. Now, we reviewed that about, I don't know, four or five months ago. Great EDC bag. It's small. It's compact. You can get all the gear that you're about to see inside that bag, and it's going to weigh right around the six-pound mark. So I was able to drop about four pounds, and that's a lot more doable and a lot more reasonable for an EDC bag. So with all that being said, guys, you're going to see what I take with me day in, day out when I'm going to the store, when I'm going out for a day of shopping and errands with Ashley. Uh, you know, Aaron's going to errands with Aaron. Aaron. Errands, uh, as well as you know, just taking the office is my bag. I take the office on a regular basis, you know, 365, seven days a week. So, uh, with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop to it, show you what my new EDC dump for the end of 2015 has to offer you. One other thing, guys, before I forget, before we jump to the gear, totally forgot about this, is, you know, a week or two ago, I did my five essential EDC items. Now, those are not going to be shown in this video. Those are always on my body, on my physical person. The stuff that you're seeing is in the bag, the Mountain Smith Rift bag. So just something to note there, I will have a link in the description below to my five essential EDC video. Those are the items. It's a, it's a firearm. It's a folder. It's a multi-tool. It's my wallet. Uh, and, you know, just a couple other little items here and there that just kind of walk you through a flashlight um, as well so that you can see what's on me on my body in my pockets and in my waistband uh, I'll have a link again in the description below this video is going to be what's in my EDC bag so now let's hop to it all right so uh, I just took the last uh, three or four minutes pulling out everything in my EDC bag that you can see here so this is all the content um, that was just in the bag that you just saw, pulled it all out, and we're going to walk through all of this here. So hopefully this just gives you some ideas. Love to hear your guys' thoughts as well. If you see something maybe that I'm missing or a way that I can even slim down and you know lighten it up even more, I love to hear your guys' feedback when it comes to these type of things. As always, I just love hearing your guys' feedback. But uh, we're going to walk through all this stuff, show you what this has to offer and what my kit has to offer. Now, with the Rift bag and all the items you see in front of you, uh, this is going to weigh, with the empty water bottle, 16-ounce water bottle over here, empty, it's going to be 6.6 .6 pounds. So I was able to slim off uh, about 3 pounds compared to my previous bag, which was a huge deal. And, I mean, and it just was with getting rid of some stuff that I was like, you know what, I just for EDC, I just don't need this. And just making some things more compact and getting you know smaller, lighter items for some of the stuff that uh, you see in front of you. So we'll walk through all this stuff and uh, get to it. All right, so we're going to go through this lower row here first. And uh, always got to have my Bible with me. You know, um, I'm a full-time pastor, part-time um, YouTube reviewer. So, I mean, that's what I do for a living, basically. And uh, I always got to have my Bible with me. It's the Word of God. It's my sword of the Spirit. And it's always good to be armed and prepared for not only what uh, life throws at you, and that's what this EDC kit is for, but also spiritually. Be uh, prepared for whatever life may throw at you in that sense as well. Then uh, I have a mini iPad with um, a, a keyboard, and that's where I get almost all of my work done, regardless if it's writing out emails, you know, writing notes, uh, writing messages, I mean, you name it. I, I'm, I'm constantly using this mini iPad with the keyboard, and that's really basically my laptop. And probably for a lot of you at this point, you guys don't really even carry laptops unless it's probably a work sanctioned laptop um, or you're doing some sort of graphics, something that you know an iPad or a tablet can't offer. Then we have 25 feet of uh, 550 paracord, got to have some of that on you. And then uh, below that, we have a write in the rain notepad, great for just taking notes, you know, and uh, you know, right in the rain, you can write, write in anything. We've done great tests on those. 
uh, piece of paper and they just last forever. And then below that, I have a bandana. You know, you can do so many things with a bandana from filtering and straightening out some water if you need be, uh, using it for tinder for a fire, um, you know, covering your face, using it as a tourniquet, using it as a sling. I mean, tons of different things you can do just with a simple dollar you know, bandana. So rocking the bandana. Then as we go along here, we got a Husky um, hex head or, you know, diamond headed tool. This is for all my knives, you know, pocket clips, tightening up pocket clips, tightening up pivots, <clears throat> excuse me, that type of thing for myself, but also for all my buddies, you know, that I'm, anytime I'm with them, one of them's always like, hey, I need to tighten up my pocket clip or hey, I want to swap it out, you know, because they just don't seem to have it with them. So I always carry that with me. Then as we move along here, I got a Tide pen, you know, take care of stains, particularly lately, me and coffee have not been friends and I spilled coffee on myself like once or twice a week. Um, so I can, I guess I'm kind of a messy person, I guess. So um, I use that Tide, right, uh, Tide pen a lot. And then we got a Sharpie, Sharpie's always important, highlighter, I got a small pen. Uh, and then I have a Streamlight uh, Micro, excuse me, uh, yeah, Streamlight Micro Stream. And uh, this is a AAA powered flashlight and I've been rocking this for a few months now. Really love this a lot. And not only do you just have that tap button so you can do that flash feature, it's 35 lumens, so this is the newer model. And you get like two and a half hour, two, two hours and 15 minutes of power, but also that pocket clip, not only can you EDC it in your pocket if you wanted to, but it's a reverse pocket clip in the sense that it goes both ways. You can put that on the bill of your hat and use it as a headlamp. I do that a lot when I'm entering groceries and those type of things if I have a baseball cap on. So that's a really cool backup flashlight to the EDC flashlight that I have with me all the time, the tube that we saw in the previous video. So with that being said, that's the first row of items. All right, as we move along here, we're gonna look at a couple tools now. Uh, first off, I have this little Schrade pry bar tool. It's a great little pry bar tool and great for travel as well. Not only are you gonna get a little cutting edge, you got some screwdriver tips there. You can do some flat heads as well as pull nails, bottle cap opener, and another screwdriver and a few hex head um, attachments. So this is a great little feature and it's um, able to be carried on planes. I just like that as a backup tool. I got a Topps emergency whistle in case I needed to get um, people alerted to my surroundings for whatever reason. I got an Endure survival straw, very lightweight, very compact. You can see there almost fits in my hand. We'll do 25 uh, gallons of water. So, I mean, that's like a month's worth of water, basically. I mean, you can survive on a lot less than a gallon a day. But uh, if you do a gallon a day, you're looking at almost a month there of processed water. And it uh, uh, <clears throat> can handle really dirty water, which is important, particularly where I live in an urban environment. Then as we go along here, I got my Leatherman Sidekick. Great Leatherman tool. It's always good to have a strong multi-tool with you that can handle a lot of work. This is the model with the saw. I uh, just figured that because I don't use scissors a lot and my other EDC multi-tool that I have in my pocket all the time has scissors on it, I'd rather have the wood saw in case I did need that for something. So this is a great, the Sidekick is a great inexpensive option for you when you're looking at a multi-tool. Then as we go along here, some fun, the game of Far Farkle, Pocket Farkle. This is a dice game. This is inside an old uh, film um, tube, you know, from the old cameras that used to take uh, 35 millimeter film and uh, it's got little it's a little dice game very easy to learn uh, very fun you know if you're just bored and you just got to bust it out you got with a few people the rules are on the side this thing's like six bucks this is a great little item to have with you just helps pass the time you can play it by yourself if you needed to and just help pass the time or play it with friends people you know you're just trying to you're waiting for you know the the plane to leave you're you know just with some friends and you guys forgot you know a game you're at the coffee shop i mean whatever it's just a great little game to have on you i love it a lot we play it a lot then i have the banshee from ghost knives great little d2 steel neck knife it's always good to have some sort of solid you know fixed blade with you good kydex sheath very slim very lightweight and has a 90 degree spine so i can throw sparks with my ferro rod that we'll look at here in a moment so uh, not a lot of profile that, or weight that that is adding to my carry options. Then I have an ADD Tactical uh, leather wallet and that carries my business cards, but it also is backed up as a strop. These sides over here are um, designed so that you can strop your blades. So I have a way to maintain my blades with this leather wallet. And it, you know, so it's a two for one. I'm able to carry my business cards, but I'm also able to tune up my knives if need be. And then finally over here, I just have an old Starbucks gift card that I wrapped with uh, probably 
20 feet of duct tape. And this is just a very simple, easy way to carry duct tape on you. It's always good to have some of that medical reasons um, and duct tape, you know, can do anything with vehicles and, you know, I mean, just name it and, you know, universal uh, duct tape. And that's just a fast, slim, easy way to carry some duct tape. On okay, you. now on to personal grooming, personal hygiene. Uh, what we have here is some hand sanitizer. We got some gum. We got some Altoids mints. Uh, I have Cottonelle, um, what's it called, wet ones. You know, not only clean your hands, you can do lots of different stuff with that. Clean your face or clean your bum, depending on, you know, if you run out of toilet paper in a stall or something like that. It's a horrible experience, so it's always nice to have that as backup. And then some Axe body spray. I, I hate Axe, but it's the only thing that I'm aware of that's a spray aerosol, you know, that if I'm just got a really long day and, you know, my deodorant at about five o'clock still is wearing out and I don't have any else, anything on me, it's better than nothing. I'd love to, if you guys know of some other compact deodorant that you could recommend to me that's an aerosol form, that would be awesome. But that's just what I got because that's all I'm aware of at the time. But those are just a few uh, personal hygiene items that are on me all the time. All right, cruising right along here. Now I have to constantly be measuring different things regardless if it's for my job and you know I'm building something, doing something like that, a prop or something, uh, or you know I'm wanting to measure a knife and I forgot my measuring tape with me, I'm running some specs, doing a few filming shots. So I carry a small Stanley Fat Max six foot um, keychain sized measuring tape with me. It just really works uh, nicely and I, I really like that as a little extra feature. Then I have a mini Bic lighter and then I have an Exotac Nano XL Striker. Um, the Striker actually kind of sucks. The ferrule rod itself throws fine. This part that throws the sparks really is not cool and I don't like it a lot. That's why I made sure to get a 90 degree spine knife. Um, it can do it, it's just a pain in the butt. Um, but it is compact, none of the sharp items are kind of hanging out and, and it's just nice and slim and all there. And the likelihood of me using this over my lighter is very slim. Um, but I did want something. So those are my two options of starting a fighter if I had to in some emergency situation. Then I have a full um, EDC medical kit here in a Husky bag. And this has, you know, everything from eye drops to painkillers to, you know, ointments for burns or from itching and then some, you know, minor bandages and things like that. It's not like, you know, got you know, tourniquets and scissors and, you know, all this different stuff. It does have a little razor blade in there, but I mean, it, it can definitely handle most small injuries that you'd be facing on a daily basis. Then uh, as we move up here, we got two different power cords, not only for my iPad, but also for my um, phone and my, um, what's it called? iPod, iPad, iPod, and iPhone. So those are wrapped up with a Night Eyes gear tie. Love those things. Then uh, this was a big one that's really slimmed down on weight. I got an Anchor smaller um, battery charger. This thing is awesome. Very small, compact, 10 bucks, and will charge my iPad once, my mini iPad once. It'll charge my phone one and a half times, and it'll charge my iPod twice. Um, each one of those only, you know, I won't do all of those at the same time that I listed, but, um, you know, depending on what is dead, it gives me that option. It's way smaller, way more compact and lightweight and only 10 bucks. And I've used, I use that constantly. That thing's awesome. And then finally my skull candy head earbuds that also has my mini iPod in there for my working out or just, you know, listening to stuff while I'm working or whatever. Uh, then I forgot about this as well. Just a, a wall plug for all those items that I just listed to you. And then, um, Finally, I just have a Camelback 16 ounce water bottle, nothing fancy there. So uh, those are the items, guys, of my EDC bag and this dump of this EDC kit. Well, folks, it's time for us to bring this video to a close for you. And again, you can go to our playlist on the Gideon's Tactical homepage. You can see most of these items that I've talked about, reviewed, or at least a lot of them, um, you know, and uh, as well as even the bag, the Rift bag, I review on that as well. It's a great EDC bag. So with all that being said, guys, really hope that ultimately it's just kind of pointing in the right direction on building your own EDC kits. EDC kits, everyday carry kits are so important. You need to have the supplies that, you know, you can regularly use, that you can use on a regular basis, so you're not the guy sitting there going, oh, I wish I had that, and that you have the stuff that you need. I can't tell you how many times a week People hit me up for, hey, do you have a screwdriver? Hey, do you have that torsion, torsion screw? Uh, hey, do you have a Sharpie? Hey, do you have a tape measure? Hey, do you have this? Hey, do you have that? Hey, 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 hey. You know, and it, uh, bam, I always got it there, ready to go. It's on me every single day. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Check us out on all the relevant social media. Links are in the description below. And as always, remember to stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.